G'day, this is Mike Smith. I want to uh, create a short demonstration video on how to use Bitstrip, which is a pretty cool uh, animation program, avatar-based, uh, which runs as an application inside Facebook. One of the cool things I like about it is that uh, if you have this application installed, it checks your friends list, and if any of your friends have it installed, you can actually have them in your cartoons, as you can see here, one of my friends there. Um, in your cartoons and vice versa. I really like it. It's one of the few Facebook applications where I actually don't mind um, the notion of um, it being aware of my friends list. Um, it does have some advertising here on the right hand side but it seems to be quite um, reasonable about that. So anyway, how do, we, how do we actually use it? Well, what you need to do is uh, go to your apps which is from your home page, not your profile page, from your home page. It'll be down the left hand side here, most likely in the apps area, bit strips there. And if you click on that, basically if you've got it installed, it will come up here. Um, also, if you uh, are yet to install it, what you do is just search for it, bit strips, there you go. Um, and uh, you click on that and then it will run you through the installation process into your Facebook um, apps list. So, um, one of my friends asked me uh, how to control the sharing aspect of this. So let's just uh, say I'm just going to uh, create uh, something and then I'll, I'll delete it. Right, this one here for example. Um, might want to customize it. Um, and what's happening here is uh, Bitstrip is uh, giving you the option of making some changes. So you can you can customize this uh, caption here, for example, and that comes up as text underneath the picture. You can also customize uh, various aspects here as well. Um, uh, for example, orange flavored toothpaste. Something like that. Ooh. Try spelling correctly. You can do line line breaks. Yep. Ooh. There we go. Okay, so you can add um, thought bubbles or speech bubbles or whatever. You can also add. You can also change the expression on my face there. There, for example, and body position, um, head. body position, hand position, all that kind of stuff. Okay, so there's quite a few things that you can do. Right, and when you're finished changing things, then you can share. Now, as you can see down the bottom here, you've got options to share it to one of these social networks here. Um, I, at the moment, I'm really just using it for Facebook, but I do also have a Twitter and Tumblr account. But let's go through this process, share, it's uploading um, the actual customized comic now and uh, in a moment it'll give us uh, a share option here we go so it's actually shared you see and it hasn't given you the option of how to um, modify who it's shared with so what you do then instead of pressing continue don't press that press view comic that'll take you straight to the post where that was shared right I'll just bring that down here it came up in another window there we go. Um, I wonder if I can put that. Oh, yeah, okay. So there it is in my Facebook feed. Now, just make that full screen here. Now, what I can do, you see how this is shared with public? I can customize the share options to friends, friends only me. And if I want to share it into a group, there's no option here. Um, so what I do then is I share it with only me, right? So no one else can see it other than me, uh, although it looks like one of my friends actually saw that. Um, and, um, and then what you do is you can save the image to your local drive, right? So and then uh, go to your normal profile, go to one of your groups, um, let's see, 
small stones, for example, and um, and then upload the photo that I've just saved, right? Where is it? Here we go. I'm going to cancel out of this, but you get the idea. So uh, there it is there. And, and, and so that's basically how you can uh, control your, um, your, uh, your images from the BitStrips app. You could also, of course, once you'd uh, download that and before you upload it again, you could, you could edit the photo on your own computer. So I'll just cancel out of that. Yep, because I don't want to do that. Right, and so now, um, as it stands, I've got a private, you see, only me, shared version of that image. Cool. Thanks very much.